The Sault Ste. Marie Chamber of Commerce recently hosted a business breakfast with MP Terry Sheehan to discuss the new budget and opportunities for the future success of the Sioux. Well, certainly, uh, you know, the main reason for doing an event like this is to create the channels of communication to make sure that we are uh, interpreting a, as a community those uh, elements within the federal budget and how they'll translate into advancing our community for uh, economic sustainability, viability, and really how it impacts the, the Chamber of Commerce membership and the business community. Well, this was an excellent opportunity to share our um, budget 2016. It's a good news budget and uh, the Chamber of Commerce was uh, kind enough to host this um, very important uh, breakfast. It allowed me to uh, get some input from the Chamber and its members and uh, from uh, various members in my riding. It allowed me to share uh, the important uh, investments that are being made in this budget that are going to improve Sault Ste. Marie. Chief Paul Surrett was in attendance representing Garden River First Nation and joined the conversations at the table to benefit both our communities. Well certainly today was an opportunity to come in and sit at this event here uh, uh, that was organized by the Chamber of Commerce. It's something that our First Nation I think historically uh, hasn't taken part in a whole lot in the past and, and it's uh, there's maybe some reasoning for that but we wanted to come today and uh, be able to let our folks and our friends and our neighbours know that, you know, we're here. Uh, we want to be included. We need to be included in the decision-making process. And the, the solutions that we can work together to uh, benefit both our communities, uh, Garden River First Nation and Sault Ste. Marie. So we want to be part of that solution. Uh, we really believe uh, we're optimistic about the new government the approach they've taken, the funding that they've earmarked for First Nations. Uh, we're very optimistic about that. Um, now we need to work with our advocacy groups uh, at all levels to um, work with the government now and, and monitor how those funds are going to be distributed, um, what are the benefits for us. And uh, so there's some great opportunity. Uh, I think the timing is really good now. Um, so we're here to say that we're uh, willing to, uh, we're, we want to continue to participate. We're excited about being here. We're excited to sit with our neighbours and our friends. So very excited about that. We were uh, very pleased to have representation from our First Nations here today and being able to connect our business community to, the, uh, to uh, our Indigenous peoples. They too are part of uh, the solution. They're part of uh, our entrepreneurial solution and innovation solution. And uh, we're really happy to see that not only have they been uh, put forward in the budget as a priority, but also the willingness for them to participate in, in events like this. The big thing is, is that I've met a number of times with our First Nation partners, and they have so many ideas and so many solutions. They're going to benefit uh, not only um, their people, but all the people in this riding and this country. Uh, there is a, 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 a plethora of opportunity to work on a number of initiatives together and I am so pleased to uh, that they participated here today and um, you know my office is always open to everyone in this riding and uh, again I continue to work with uh, all people on the opportunities we have the budget we have the framework now what we need to do is move forward and capitalize on every aspect of that budget. During the breakfast, Terry Sheehan discussed the budget and how it can help Sault Ste. Marie locally, along with the government commitments to the trade and steel industry. So Terry, we is very good in uh, translating the written word of the budget into how we can approach uh, the infrastructure uh, components of the budget, how we can work with uh, our levels of, of government to ensure we're investing in our community and also that those investments uh, are provided through a, uh, an appropriate procurement process to ensure that the monies are driven here locally as we start to advance infrastructure constructions. I was absolutely delighted to see on, uh, in our budget the commitment to modernizing trade remedy. Uh, this is something I worked on from day one, uh, morning, noon and night, uh, you know, from the Prime Minister to the Minister of Finance lobbying, you know, we lobbied hard, they listened and they put it in black and white. 
and our local industries at SR and Tenera said it was so important to them to see it in black and white because it's signaling to the world that this government will not leave the steel industry behind. For more information on the Government of Canada's 2016 budget, you can visit budget.gc.ca. For Go On Shaw TV, I'm Greg Seiler.